it makes you proud to be part of ambulance and seeing not only ambulance doing what they do so well, but the fireys, the police working together. But the members of the public who are assisting us, providing us with the first information when we got there, it's, it's, it's hard to explain just how inspiring that was to see that people were just doing what needed to be done amongst the tragedy and it was amazing to see. On the day there was a, a patient with quite serious injuries out the front of the store. Um, so I feel for the staff um, at this particular store having to be sort of reminded by that each day. I think that would be quite tough. So I just wanted to thank them for their efforts and um, I was off duty on the day but I remember them and their efforts and it's been greatly appreciated. What really impressed me was the amazing display of humanity that I witnessed. Thank you to all of the people that stopped to help other people, people that were trained and people that weren't trained, but they stopped anyway and they helped out. Thank you so much and I'm sure the people that were helped appreciate it as well. Just thank you. Thank you to the police members who were helping with the patient directly. Thank you to the police members who were keeping us safe um, whilst their colleagues were helping us with the patient. Thank you to the doctors who did the best that they could. Thank you to my colleagues. Just thank you to everybody. From the moment I walked up there, I got out of an ambulance and I had someone there at my side who was just offering his support. And uh, there was one particular man, um, I don't remember his name, but uh, he, he didn't leave me and my student uh, at the time. And he basically just became a third member of our, um, our trio. And that was just um, invaluable. The support was incredible. And, uh, and I can't thank that person enough. Uh, there was one member of the public who stood out um, who was assisting us move through the traffic. As you can imagine, it was quite chaotic and there was traffic everywhere, quite banked up through the laneways. And he stepped aside and led us through. I wanted to thank you very much for taking that initiative and, and stepping up and doing what you did, because what you did was very, very helpful for us. I'd just like to thank uh, the bystanders who um, provided support and comfort to the patients that were there and also to the Metropolitan Fire Brigade and members of Victoria Police who um, were invaluable in helping us uh, transport and move um, our patients from the scene. Um, I'd like to say a really big thank you to the firefighters from the MFB. Um, they were on scene for a long time with our patient that day. Um, they were so calm, they calmed the patient. I think they calmed us a lot. Um, they took on any job they were given and they played such a huge role in getting our patient to hospital as quickly as they did. I'd like to thank the staff of a company that I was nearby who came out to the aid of two patients out the front of their company. Um, they brought out their first aid equipment and defibrillators and uh, started treating people straight away. Uh, to the lady in the bank, uh, you did a very good job and thank you tremendously. I'd just like to thank um, everyone that was on the scene on the day for all the, the help that they provided, um, whether that be just providing reassurance to patients, um, just keeping them calm, um, keeping them sheltered out of the sun um, while we organised uh, transport to hospital. Um, just the small things I think really helped on the day. To all the people who did CPR, it was such a difficult thing to do and you did it with such compassion and we thank you all. Oh, once again, just a big thank you. Um, it was just a big team effort and horrible incident that everyone sort of banded together and helped out where, where we were able to. Seeing all those bystanders there really comforted us um, as paramedics and really helped us to do our job. They were the first ones at the scene so they were holding all the patients in the positions and comforting them with reassurance and advice and enabled us to initiate our work as soon as possible. I know that at the time we weren't able to thank all the bystanders so I want to use this um, as, a, as an opportunity to, to thank all the bystanders um, for their assistance throughout the incident. Oh, I'm eternally grateful for them being there on that day. Um, they did a wonderful job and I couldn't have done my job without them. All the bystanders who were there at the scene before us, um, some with medical training, some without, um, we very much appreciate your efforts. We might not know who you are, but rest assured we uh, appreciate your help. And the response from ordinary community members was simply magnificent. Those with clinical skills, 
certainly um, used their skills. Those without clinical skills simply came up reassured, um, held hands, comforted the victims and it was truly awesome. It was amazing that they just stopped what they were doing to help someone else that they didn't even know. One thing that's, um, that stood out to me was just a simple act of um, a member of the public just holding a, an umbrella over one of our patients just to shield them from the sun on the day. It was such a fantastic thing uh, watching everybody come together as one. Um, I think it was truly amazing to turn up on the scene and it be so quiet and people kneeling down on the ground helping people they didn't even know. Well it gives you a great sense of uh, comfort about the community that we live in that people are prepared to um, you know, assist others even when they're dealing with something that's incredibly traumatic and um, everyone who was there was just so completely focused on helping people. I think in those situations one of the things that personally as a paramedic I find quite challenging is not just the medical side but the emotional side especially of um, the patients and how distressed they are and for me it was to see that he was so that he had that support already. And it's just very brave and selfless thing to do to be able to support someone else in a really difficult time when you might be afraid yourself. That human um, nature of people that, that really want to help someone and I think that's that came out to me in that whole day. It really was a show of human strength. Um, we all didn't know each other at the time, we were strangers but bonded very quickly, all helped each other as we could and yeah it was really heartwarming. Um, you could tell it meant a lot to the patients on the street that everyone was helping them. It's really, it's uplifting just to see just members of the community helping people that they may not have even known. I've never seen a scene where the community were the first to provide that initial care in such, um, such a strong way. So it made all the difference, that's why it was seamless because people were actually helping people. Oh look, I'd just like to thank the people for the people of Victoria and of Melbourne in particular in assisting um, people just like themselves on that day. Um, and uh, I'd just like to say thank you from Ambulance Victoria.